Did I just get robbed? Oh, this one? This one sounds like it has water in it. Another $40. We're not supposed to press and it worked. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh. Now look at that. It is a huge. Oh. Next cup. Oh. Look, there was two beautiful little clownfish. Oh no, Ralphie's on the loose. Welcome back to Rob's Quads, guys. In today's video, we're going to be visiting this little vending machine right here. So I've seen a couple videos on a platform where people get to these vending machines and catch out some pretty crazy stuff just by getting and pressing these buttons right here. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. So I've got $12 and no, I've $13. So we're going to see how far this gets me. I'm going to try to press every single button on this machine. This one only has what seems to be six buttons, but we're gonna see what it does. We'll try to deposit five dollars in here i might actually run out and grab more cash just because but okay so let's go shiners just to see if this works it, i think it's loading right here i think it's loading let's see it's is it gonna steal my money no i hear i hear something happening down in there did i just get robbed wait bro there's no way they just robbed me Okay, well, <laughs> I guess we won't be getting any shiners today. I was kind of hoping for some shiners because great for fishing. It's great for fishing. You could catch anything on a shiner, but I guess we got $2 back. I actually can't believe I just got robbed by this machine, guys. Coin insert. This machine is broken. Okay, so I guess we'll have to try to make do with the circumstances at hand. I'm going to try to press one of the random buttons just for giggles, you know what I mean? Just for funsies. But I'm going to deposit all my quarters in here. Actually, I'll just round it off at a dollar just to see. And I'm going to put in an extra five just to see what happens. But okay, round it off at, oh, I got $3 in coins. And then I'm going to drop in a five and we'll see what happens. I'm going to press one of the buttons that are unmarked just to see if anything comes out. I mean, I'm kind of butthurt actually because now I'm down to $7. I might have to run to a bank and grab grab some more change because this is this is messed up what they're doing here probably they literally robbed me they robbed me so i'm gonna press this button right here and we're going to see what happens all right oh look look it oh, oh it worked i think it worked i just heard something clink oh my god well we got our first container so we'll just put it to the side and we'll run it back i only have two more dollars because these ooh, these people are ruthless is it gonna give me all my change back I'm never coming back. I'm never coming back. Unless you guys like the video, then I will, but this is, oh my God, dude. I should have never brought cash. Oh my God. Oh no, oh no. My doubloons. Well, this isn't going exactly how I expected. I've never used one of these vending machines before. So I guess, you know, it is what it is. We'll just keep <laughs> running it back, I guess. We only got, I definitely need to get more cash. That's for sure. So I'll use whatever I have right now and I'll go to an ATM and withdraw some more cash just so we could try to click on each of these buttons because this button worked. I don't know what the value is. It's 250. It wasn't 250. But how much change should I get back? I got $3 back. So that was a $5 button this one was. Yeah, okay. I thought it changed numbers on me, but I'm going to throw in another one of these and we'll see what the next one is. I'm going to go to the button to below it and just see. I'm not even going to put this dollar in. I'm not going to bother because they're just going to give me coins back, but we'll press this button. Oh, this one works too. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh my God. There's bugs in, sh in there. Oh, this one. This one sounds like it has water in it. All right, cool. Well, I'll place this one down right here. So, so far in this first run, we only got it two of these canisters. We're going to bring all the canisters back to the house to check them out, just in case there is actually live fish in here. I mean, everything on here should be alive, but I don't want to open it up here just in case there's been like a lot of ammonia and whatnot building up in it. But I want to open it near some of the tanks and we'll see if it's fresh water or salt water. But I actually got to go to an ATM and get more cash because I only got two cups and there's six bucks. So I got to figure something out. We're now back at the vending machine guys and i got another 40 dollars. so hopefully they don't keep stealing my money i mean we know this button the shiners they're out of shiners there's just none in there they got night crawlers i believe but i'm gonna put is this too much hey let go dude <laughs> it's not giving me my money what can i have this back like please pretty please thank you camera girl figured it out but i couldn't there's no way. Do they not accept 20s? Okay, one more time. Try it the other way. Yeah, one more time. Try, one more time. We gotta go in the store. I gotta get change. 
Damn. Well, now we've got four fives. They're really making me work for these freaking things, man. The spending machine's hustling me right now. I don't know if it's because they're close to closing. Is that what it is? No way. No way. Oh, okay, okay, we're saved, we're saved. So I'm gonna try to press this button, and we're gonna, we're gonna see if this button works. Oh, <laughs> look, this one worked too. Oh, it just dropped in, it just dropped in. Oh, I think this one has water in it too. I can hear it sloshing around. I don't know if the mic's picking it up, but I can hear water in here. So we got, what is this now, the fourth container? So we got four containers right here. I'll just put that down so whatever's in there isn't on its head, and now it's gonna take forever to give me my change back. We're just gonna let the change pile up down there, and we'll keep using it toward everything we're doing. So, oh my God, dude, just take my money. Take my money. I'm about to go sicko mode. You don't want to see me go sicko mode. The camera girl, please save me. Camera girl, please save me. For whatever reason, when I do it, it doesn't go in. Oh my God, this is rigged. <laughs> this is freaking rigged. Did he even give me my coins? Okay, give me my coins back. We're gonna leave the coins there. And honestly, we'll probably use the coins for the next one. I think that one, I just realized, I don't know how much that one was. It was a mystery one. One of these ones we're not supposed to press and it worked, but it doesn't actually say a value on it. And I didn't check the change. It, it is what it is, but we're gonna press this button now. I think we already know this button doesn't work, but this one might. So we're gonna press this button. Did it go? Oh. <laughs> Let's go. And I think this one has water too. Yeah, this one has water in it. So we're kind of lit. I don't know what it could be because the shiner button doesn't work. Let's try the shiner button one more time with the coins. I don't mind losing some coins to this. Yeah. Oh my God, it's raining. It's raining. And I think I want to go out and try to catch some peacock bass with the night crawlers we got from here. But we're gonna use this change to get some more stuff from here. Might as well before I break up another dollar. And I think we'll try the shiner button one more time. It says $3, I think, on the shiner button. Let's see here. Very well. There we go. There we go. Do I not have enough change? <gasps> I don't have enough change. Well, unfortunately, got to sacrifice another dollar. Oh, my God. <laughs> I knew that. I knew it was supposed to go the other way. So now we have $8 in the machine. One $5 bill left. Do I really want to press the shiner button? I already don't think it's going to work. You know what we're going to do instead? We're going to press this top button again and see if it works. Oh, okay. I think it's going now. <laughs> Let's go. And I think, yep. <laughs> yeah, there's water in there. So I think now we have six canisters. I think I'm good there. It's going to give me all my coins back. So you know what? What the coins gives us back, we're going to sacrifice one of these right here. We'll, we'll sacrifice the coins and see if it gives us anything out of here. Hurry up, dude. I'm trying to see what's in there. They're really making my life hard. One, two, three. Okay, one more coin. One more coin. Shiners. It's loading. Oh, oh. it worked this time. <gasps> no. But did it give me shiner? Let's see. Dude, what? Let's see. Let's check the shiner one. Oh, ew. Dead oh, dead shiners. <laughs> no, oh my God, bro. My, I, I think I should try another one. Those are pretty useless. I mean, I might be able to feed them to my fish, but even then I'm kind of scared to. And now I can't close this because the gases all escape. So I definitely will wait to open these until we get back to the house, but we might as well try another shiner one. I don't know, maybe they restocked it after they saw me trying to do this. Every time I do it the wrong way. Okay, shiners. Is it gonna rob me? Is it gonna steal my money again? Maybe that one time was a fluke. Let's see, does it drop? What gives, bro? Oh, camera girl might have just solved it. I hear the machine in there whirring. They robbed me. You know what? I think we'll call it a day there. We're gonna go back to the house and check out all these containers. I really wish these shiners were live because then I could, I would feel more comfortable feeding them to my fish, but I don't think any of them are. So I don't want to give my fish diseases. So now we're back at the house guys with everything we got from the vending machine. So right here we have seven in total. This one, I remember it being the one. Oh, oh, oh God. That has these shiners in there. I don't even know if I'd fish with them. I'd feel bad for the fish that hits and eats those. Like it's just wrong. I was hoping they were alive and like looking good because I would have fed I them. I don't care. Like it's in a little disease filled thing. I was gonna feed it to my monster fish, but I'm not gonna do so anymore. I just set up this tank, got it all cleaned up and ready just in case there is some salt water stuff. Now I have no clue what would be. Oh, what is that? Hold on, let me get it out of here. What the fuck is this? 
Look at this thing. Oh, I don't know if it'll bite me. Look at this. Oh my, oh, oh, it's jumping. Is this like some kind of crawfish? Oh my, it's actually really pretty. Look at it. Look, it's got like purple and pink on it. This thing is really interesting. Now, I don't know what this is. It's pretty funny to look at though. Honestly, I think for right now, I'll just get it into this tank right here. Cause I mean, why not? Is it alive? Oh my God, look at it. <laughs> look at it jump around. That thing is so cute. Okay, well, pretty hot start. That thing was pretty cool. Let's see what we got going on in here. There's a little bit of water moving around. Hopefully it's not more dead shiners. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Oh, let me get it out of the cup. Uh, hopefully it doesn't freak out. I do know what this is, guys, but we got a beautiful, beautiful little blood shrimp out of that next cup. This thing is gorgeous. Definitely gonna get him in there. Look at that. It is a huge one, and I just realized I might move that other thing in there. I think I actually know what that other animal is. You see this guy right here? This guy might be one of those slipper lobsters, and if I remember correctly, I think that means he could eat shrimps and stuff. So I might have to fetch him out of that rock and get him into the tank with the octopus. The 54 gallon system right behind you. Oh, next cup. Oh, oh, oh my, yo, wait, look at this. It's a beautiful little clownfish, hold on. Beautiful little clownfish right here, guys. I'll get him added into the tank. And it's not just one of them. Go on, little fella. It's not just that guy. There's another little clownfish in here. Look at this. Look, there was two beautiful little clownfish in that little thing. So I'm gonna get them both in here. Hopefully they're doing well. They're looking a little queasy right now. I'm hoping they do well though. So that's three out of the cups, four out of the cups we've opened up. So let's see what's in this next one. Oh, oh ew, look at that. A box full of worms. Ew, gross. We don't want these at all. Put this to the side where our little cup graveyard is and we've got two more. Oh, I just saw something bounce around here. Oh, okay. I mean, this ain't nothing crazy. I mean, why they put it in the cup, I'd have no idea, but I don't even know if there's actually a hermit crab in this one. Weird. Either way, you know, he might actually also eat shrimp. For right now, I'll just put him in here because the octopus is far worse for everything than all these guys would be. But we got one last cup right here to check out. Oh, pop. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Oh, let me fetch them out. It's a whole lot of them in here. There's a ton of these tiny little snails in there. They're beautiful little snails. Very, very nice. I'm definitely gonna get all of them in here. They're very small, so I think it'll be fine. I think there's four more snails in this. Look at that. <laughs> four more little snails out of this little cup right here. So I'm just gonna drop them all in one corner. So they'll eventually, hopefully get themselves upright. One of them already has, and I think that's all the cup that we got. So out of those cups, guys, out of the vending machine, we got two clownfish right here. They're both kind of resting at the bottom. Seven snails, this hermit crab, he's already out of the shell. There's a shrimp in the back left corner, chilling right down there. And then there's this weird little thing right here. Oh, I might have to take him out of this, I might have to move the skate rock real quick. I don't know if I want this in the tank, cause if I remember correctly, this is what I think it is. He could definitely, definitely eat snails and he will. So we're actually gonna move this guy over into our little octopus tank. He's basically just like a saltwater crawfish. Got him. <laughs> He's a little too, oh, no. The cap is off of the octopus thing. Oh no, Ralphie's on the loose. Well, Either way, I'm gonna be putting this in here. Ralphie is in that tank somewhere. Where he is at, I don't know. It's gonna be near impossible to find him, but if you look, the cap is floating in the top of this tank right here. I'm just gonna throw this guy in right quick. Look at him scoot. <laughs> he butt scooted all the way across the tank. Did he land upside down? Yes, he did. Buddy, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> he's playing dead. I'm not too sure what that little guy's doing, but if you guys look, the octopus trap is wide open. The cap for it is in this top corner. So I think that means Ralphie actually escaped. And an escape this big, I don't know if we're gonna be able to find him. I could see a little spot, a couple spots down in these rocks right here where frag plugs could go that he might be actually hiding. But realistically, he could be literally anywhere in this escape. And this is a 54 gallon tank. So maybe one of these days we try to lure him out with some food, but I think the little guy might have escaped. I mean, he could also be in the sump actually. Where is Ralphie, dude? <laughs> what? 
The dumpster puss is on the loose, guys, but. I just cut the pump so I could feed these little dudes, and it seems like everybody is eating. We got the little clownfish up here, going to, you know, all the pieces and chunks of food. They're super, super small from that vending machine, but also the invertebrates down here are going crazy, picking up the food that hits the floor. But these guys from up top, this is what they look like. Um, at this point, I might start looking for some corals for this tank as well, but everybody in here is doing really, really well. So I can't complain. I'll grab a little bit more food here. Get that right in there for these guys. And boom, just like that. They're going crazy, bro. They're going crazy right there. Come on, little ones. Come on, little guys. Come get your food. But usually I let them sit here and eat until, you know, there's no food left in the tank. This blood shrimp is really good at picking up food. So it's pretty big too. So I usually just let the pump off for a little bit just a few minutes and that tends to get the job done so so far all is well in this tank it's only been a few days since i got them out of that vending machine but i'm really really happy with how this is going that is it for today's video please like the video subscribe channel and turn on post notifications if you did enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next one deuces